So we're talking about Lesson 2, Item 14 on your table, Open RTF, TXD, and PFD files with Word. So we need to just have a little discussion here about what these things mean. And so I've opened a application called WordPad, which is a Windows application that comes with every computer to show you. This is a WordPad file. It's like a little mini version of Word. You can see there's only three tabs, and I'm about to save this file. And so when I do that, and I come to Save As, right here I'm given a choice of a few things. But if I ignore this for now, this is the one rich, rich text format. This is the one by default we would get if we just click Save As. We're just going to click Save As. We get this dialog box. Now I'm not in Windows 10, so this is going to look a little bit different. But I do want to save this in my school. Microsoft Word Core. And here. Now you can see that the extension here by default is RTF. It's like Canadians are from Canada. We have this native land, and the native extension for WordPad documents is RTF. So I'm just going to put a file name here, and after I do this, you're going to see it pop up over here in this folder. So this is going to be the WordPad trial, and I'm going to click Save. You can see it pop up there. Now I'm coming down here, and this is an application called Notepad. Also comes with Windows. You can see that I even tried to zoom in on this. I, you can't do anything in here. There's You can word wrap and a little bit of font stuff, but nothing else. And this is used when someone wants to make text that's possibly going to go into a web page, because it will have no formatting. It's just strictly text, and that's where this extension comes from. This is rich text format, a little bit of formatting. This is just very basic. So let's go ahead and do a save as here, and you can see that last time I was on Notepad, I was in Dreamweaver, and you can see that the native extension is this TXT. So I'm going to call this note Pad trial, and sorry, I have to do a little bit of uh, juggling here to find me. Okay, so as soon as I save this again, watch for it to pop up in my File Explorer window. And then let's just have a, a little quicker peek here. And notice that uh, we don't have a ribbon here in Windows 7, but we do have all these different views. So I'm going to go to a medium icon just to show you that PDF we haven't talked about yet, but the icon you can see it's different. The notepad icon is different, and so is the WordPad icon. You can see my extension, extensions are showing, and I'm just going to uh, restore down this window for a second. I'm going to shut down WordPad, shut down Notepad, just open this back up. And I showed this in class the other day, but it's probably worth repeating. If I go to rename a file, I can do that with a right click, I can do that with two slow clicks. But if by accident, you see, it's trying to maintain this extension. But if by accident, I rename it without thinking, and I'm going to name it Repad Notepad Trial Rename, Enter, we get this extension, or this message. If you change a file name extension, it might become unusable. 
Yeah, sure, change it anyway. You can see now it's gone to this generic icon, and if I double-click it and try to open it, when we open through Explorer, the first thing the computer does is looks for the extension because it knows which extensions go with which application. So it no longer knows what the heck to open this file with. So as soon as I come back here, and this time I'm just going to do two slow clicks, gets me into rename, and I'll put the txt back on, and you can see now my icon is back. So WordPad files a little bit of formatting, Notepad, no formatting, PDF, this uh, extension, let's have a look at this file. It looks like this, it usually opens in Reader, uh, and everybody, I don't know anyone that wouldn't have Adobe Reader installed with their computer, and it stands for Portable, P for Portable, Document, format, I believe. And if you had a Word file and your buddy didn't have Word, they wouldn't be able to open it if you emailed it to them. However, if you have Word and you make a file like this, you can say, hey, my friend doesn't have Word and they can't open my file. So therefore, I can save this file. And you know what? I'm just going straight here to today's folder. I can save this file as, um, as a document my friend can open and save it instead of as a docx, I can save it as a PDF here. And I have a few options, but let's just keep it simple and say save. It opens up after saving it. I'm going to close it. And I'm going to come back. Uh, where did my explorer go? And just have a look here, and there's the document my friend can open. You can see that Word can save files that and change them to a PDF. And now let's use our file open command, which is here. And I was hoping that when I browse, Oh, good. It takes me back here. So let's now try, let's try and open the first PDF. And I've opened some PDF files with Word, and it says that they can open it and that you can edit it. See, it's converting it to an editable. It might take a while. And, you know, it might not just look quite like the original. And that's true. The more complicated it is. But actually, this one came out pretty good. And... Uh, it's in protected view. All I have to do is click Enable Editing, and uh, it should let me edit this now. And for whatever reason, it put it into Web Layout, and I'll just switch it back to Print Layout. So you can see that right now this is still a PDF format because I, I've opened this PDF, but I haven't saved it yet. Uh, but I can now save it uh, back into here. And by default, it's going to try and now save this as a docx because I'm in Word and it likes to do that. So now I'm going to use my quick access bar to quickly, I hope, uh, we've now opened a PDF. And let's open an RTF. And when we do that, uh, this was our WordPad file. And look, it's still an RTF file, and I have this compatibility mode. And that means that this file wasn't made in Word, and they don't like that. And I cannot access possibly all of the commands that I normally 
could access unless I convert this. So if I go to my Backstage and click Convert, see some new features are disabled to prevent problems when you work with an older file. But if your friend sent you this old file and wanted you to work on it and send it back, you better not convert it because they may not be able to open it. You would just not convert it. But right now, I'll just go ahead and convert it. And it's going to say we're going to upgrade to the newest file format. OK. And the next, when I go to do a Save As Now, and I'm going to use my shortcut F12 key here, you can see that it has it is going to attempt to keep you saving it in this native Word extension. So we've now opened a PDF and an RTF. Let's come back to open and just browse. And we have not opened the TXT. And I'm not sure if it's just my eyes, but I can't see it. Uh, but we we should have been able to do that. We must have converted along the way. So I hope that helps with understanding this concept that we can open RTF, TXT, and PDF files. And we can edit them and save them back to the original file format by paying attention when we do our save as to this save as type, we can send it back to rich text format or to plain text or let it upgrade to docx.